Hi Bellas, I'm here with a really quick little uh, hair video for you guys. Um, so okay, here's what happened. On Twitter, I have a friend who goes by the name of Arifa Stanklin. Hilarious. And she's so funny, she's so awesome. Um, Arifa has big, beautiful, natural hair as well. And the other night, she was going to bed and she posted on Twitter, my satin bonnet struggles are so real in these streets. And I thought that was hilarious because I can definitely identify with her. No satin bonnet wants to stay on this at night. No satin bonnet is going to stay in place on my hair at night. And I have tried just about every going to sleep with my hair, you know, in some kind of style method to try to make my curls last, especially if I have taken the time to detangle my hair and use product and make it look beautiful during the day. It's such a shame to go to bed at night and just wake up with it matted and without the definition and without the, the beautiful look that I had worked so hard to get the day before. So what I, um, and I've tried, you know, um, Curly Nikki's method works really great for her, pineappling, but it doesn't really work for me. And I know a lot of women who say the same thing. Like, I think that it has a lot to do with your length. And sometimes it might even have a little bit to do with your texture and also with your capability in styling. I'm very much a wash, wash and go kind of person. So I need to wake up and just be able to fluff and go. And um, I mean, I've tried the pineappling and it just felt like a lot of work to me. And it didn't really give me necessarily the results where I was like, this is my go-to method. I'm going to master this. And I'm going to do this every night because I love it. Um, so, and I've, I also, I sleep on a satin pillowcase right now. My favorite pillowcase is by a brand called Charmoz, S-H-A-R-M-O-O-Z. Um, so I currently sleep on that pillowcase. But for Arifa and for anybody else who has satin bonnet struggles, um, I'm going to share with you the method of preparing my head for hair for bed that works for me. Um, I'm going to look a little goofy in this video, so please don't judge me. Basically what I use is a stocking. So this is standard stocking right here. It's actually a mid-thigh body firmer. Um, preferably your stocking of choice will be, you know, silk. Um, this is actually nylon and lycra, but I'm just using it for the sake of example. And, you know, you want to get something that's going to be really comfortable and something that's not going to be too expensive. That's the other thing. I don't necessarily recommend you buying this really expensive, you know, satin pillowcase or really expensive um, hair bonnet if it's not going to stay on. So I use stockings. You can get silk stockings for pretty affordable prices if you go to your nearest, you know, Filene's Basement or Marshall's or whatever, or even the Walgreens, I think, and Target has that kind of stuff. So you can find that pretty easily there. So this is my stocking. What I'm going to do it's kind of identify where I want to cut. I'm going to wear this on my head to go to bed at night, okay? So in general, you don't want it to be like a hat. For me, anything that has a top on it is just destined to come off. So I kind of use it as a loose stocking. So what I do, you got your crotch right there. I fold, take a pair of scissors, and I cut. So this way you've got legs, which are now pretty much going to be useless unless you stretch them out and use it as some kind of hair tie. And you've got this waist part, which is going to be your sleep stocking, let's call it. Um, and here's how I put it on. So this is the part where I'm going to look a little goofy in the video, but this is basically how I prepare my, head, my hair for bed every night. Um, my husband does not love it, but he also kind of loves the fact that there isn't hair in his face while he's trying to go to bed. So I see it as a win-win. Okay, ready? <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. I put it around my head completely first so that I don't like my hair to be down while I'm sleeping. I prefer for it to be up because when it's up, I wake up, I kind of have the volume already going for it, and I'm able to just, and let's just pretend that my hair is all detangled and looks beautiful. I know it's not really that special in this video, but 
we work with what we have. So, okay. I put my stocking around my neck. I pull up. And that's it. That's how I sleep. Um, I pretty much pull my hair up in it so it's kind of standing on top, like kind of a Bride of Frankenstein, Marge Simpson look. <laughs> and that's it. That's how I go to sleep at night. It keeps my hair out of my husband's face. It keeps my hair kind of just back. And that way when I wake up in the morning, I can just take it off. style and go. So this is my sleep stocking. I actually also have another one because I tend to lose them. So <laughs> that's my go to bed hair method. Um, and I, you know, it works for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it's pretty affordable. It's pretty easy and it's worth a try. If you've tried everything to keep a satin bonnet on at night and you're still struggling, then that might be a way to go. In fact, if you really love satin and you love the effect that satin has on your hair, you can even tie your hair around with a piece of satin and put this on and it will help to keep your satin wrap in place, more or less. I just don't like the feeling of a knot in the back of my head, you know, or in the front of my head or on the side or wherever, as happens when I have to put on some kind of satin wrap. Um, I always wind up with some kind of knot or lump of fabric that doesn't feel so comfortable. And this just is really as comfortable and smooth and lump free as you can get. Um, it's not the sexiest way to go to bed, but, <laughs> but it works. Um, so that's it. That's my, that's my go to sleep hair method. And just really quick, I wanted to address something in the videos. I was talking to my friend Lovey and she's like, why do you film at these crazy angles? Why am I only seeing this one wall in your apartment? I'm like, that's because I don't have to clean the rest of my apartment. So you guys don't get to see um, the rest of my real life struggles, which is balancing work with a clean apartment. So <laughs> just being real with you guys. Um, I hope you liked my video. I hope it helps you. And that is my go to sleep, sleep stocking hair method. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope it helps. See you soon. Bye.